Okay, hi guys, this is Gaz from Radiant Silver Labs, and I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to set up some AR in Unity. Um, so I'm going to load Unity and hold Alt here, and I'm going to make a new project. Um, some of the projects here have got bad names because I've just gone through all this, so now I want to make a video so I never forget. So I'm going to call this um, WB test and I'm going to stick this in <coughs> Euphoria sorry my phones are going nuts Euphoria uh, new so I'm going to go there select the folder and uh, hit create project now there's a weird tick box which I uh, missed so I'm going to make sure that you see that tick box so if you are having problems and you come here to look and everything seems right, maybe spin on to that bit. So, you've got an empty project here. Go to the asset store. Notice this is Unity 2017 1.0 B1 Beta. So, um, I thought it didn't work with this for the longest time, but I just got it working. It works perfectly. So, import this. And this stuff is actually really simple and very, very impressive. Um, you get all that crap, take that in. I made a backup, go ahead. Now that will import all of the stuff that they've done. But actually, if you want to track your own images, you have to go uh, sign up as a developer, and you'll get to this page, uh, go to the license manager, um, add license key, see mine's called Gazi. Um, and then when you set that up, you'll get one of these. So copy that into the clipboard. And you go to target manager, you want to supply some target images. So the one I'm testing with is uh, this one, Teddy's 3, it's just a notebook I've got. So, you take a, the best way to test here, don't use a tablet or something like that because it glows. Just find something around the house that is physical and it looks okay. Uh, take a photograph of it, upload it to this, and then you can check how good it is there. You see, it's got a 5 star on the right, it says it's very recognizable, and those little points will be used. So, Upload an image to there. Um, the size, I think I put one as the size or the width. And uh, that's a question I always ask myself. So um, I think it's one, but I'm not sure. So once you've got that in there working, let's just forget the rest. Let's just say you've got one image or whatever. You can click Download Database, click uh, Unity, Download. Now that'll come down as a Unity package. So when it comes down, you can literally just click on it, um, and it should open in the current instance of Unity. Obviously, Unity doesn't do that because it's, it's it's got a lot of bugs in it. Unity, the way it goes, worse than ever sometimes, but it's still helping us do things like this. I mean, if I had to do this in Android Studio, I wouldn't be quite as enthusiastic. So you can import that by going game object uh, asset. Now go to assets. Oops. Assets, import package, custom package. Paste the path to your download directory and open the file that we've just got. You'll see it's got some images and a DAP file and a bit of XML. <coughs> so that's in here now. You can just piggyback off the Euphoria example scenes. So let's uh, do that. We've got a sample scene. Let's just go to image targets for now, not multi targets or anything like that, just image targets, simple one. Now you go into the game here, you can see this, uh, there's three teapots and there's these three things. Now, if you printed them images out on paper nicely, you could use them as an example, but uh, it's just a bit too much effort and who has a working printer these days? So uh, I'm just going to. What's happened to the inspector? Doesn't seem to work. 
Alright, well I don't know what's happened to that. Let's uh, add another inspect there. Okay, well this is classic, isn't it? Every time you demo something, something goes wrong. The inspector, I've never seen this even happen. Um, well, let me pause it and uh, reload Unity. So I will be back in a second. Oh, wait. Okay, it was. I didn't even need to stop it. It was doing something weird there. All right, so just turn off. Um, let's turn off target chips, target stones. We'll keep target tarmac, and we'll instead of using the tarmac because we don't have it, we'll go here. We we'll go to database, target images. This is the name of your own one, and then select uh, the one you want, which is Teddy Three. Now you'll notice it's gone white here, and this confused the hell out of us for 12 hours. And I've done loads of these AR demos, but for some reason, I just couldn't get this one to work. Now, what is the secret? Well, the secret, of course, is you go into the AR camera, you open the AR, you have view for air configuration. Oops. Uh, let's get that code from the developer site again. Um, license manager, Gazi. Copy that. So you need to put this in to work in the first place, but you also crucially need to notice this bit here, data sets. Now this has just wasted 15 hours of my life because I didn't know about this. And, I, and I've got a good, uh, hopefully a good AR app coming up and I showed them loads of demos and they loved it and then I came back to my project and somehow these were unticked. Uh, and I couldn't get it to work for 15 hours and I was on the verge of telling them we're going to have to forget it and they said we'll can the whole project and you won't get any money and all that then I found this simple tick box load the database and activate absolutely ridiculous that you need to do that but now it will work so you'll notice the white is a bit weird so let's go to one different one it should um, shouldn't be white there actually um, well let's just do a test anyway it doesn't matter if it's white or not because that will not be there um, and that what you want is for the teacup the, the teapot to appear on the image that you're tracking right so if I hit play now hopefully Bandicam can record everything there's a very messy uh, room and here is my book which is interesting because it, it's not picking up <laughs> Even though I just got it working and then I stopped so I could make this video so I could prove, so I could remember myself. But let's stop that and uh, see what is happening. So if you could try a different one. Nope. Is that activated? Yep, that's activated. Alright, well what... I'm gonna do is pause it now and reload Unity because I don't know why that's happened. Uh, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I, I noted that actually it was too big. I had this width set to 50, and that makes it too large, much larger than the rest. If you look at it. Um, so actually, if you want to just try and get it to the same size as them, I, I just put 1 point, uh, 0 0.3 there. That's pretty close. Let's put 0 0.2. So the size seems to matter, um, it's a bit confusing and <coughs> nobody explains it, but I never even understand Unity's size system really. Well I guess 1 equals 1 meter. <coughs> right, we run this. Now we try the book again. And there it is, recognized perfectly. That's how you do it. It should work even on the latest Unity with the latest uh, Vuforia SDK from uh, the asset store and crucially I think the major mistake is picking an image that isn't rated 5 um, doesn't have enough points on it um, and definitely definitely people forgetting to tick that like I say I was on the verge of punching the wall about 20 minutes ago because I was convinced that this should 
work and it had worked and I, and I tried the same project, the same versions of everything and I was losing the plot there and about to lose a contract too until a tick box saved my life. There's a lesson about usability in there somewhere. Thanks for watching. This is a Taiwanese Coca-Cola. Good luck with your AR. Um, drop me a message below if this helps. Cheers guys.